Hi YouTube crafters, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, I guess, welcome. Today I thought I would film myself making some little cups, not the cups per se, but making tiny little drinks. I have these cute plastic little cups with cute little lids, and I thought, how adorable would it be to fill these up? So that's what I'm gonna work on today. Um, if you'd like to see that, stay tuned. Okay, I just spent like 10 minutes looking for my silicone. Uh, I'm too organized, so I forget where I put things. And I was like, oh yeah, I put it in my storage in the garage. Anyway, this is what I'm gonna use. I hope this is the right way. This is what I'm gonna use um, to fill up my cups. This is 100% silicone, <laughs> like for the bathroom and stuff. This is clear and this is white. I'm gonna be using mostly clear with a tiny bit of white to make it a little like, I like to call it jelly color. It's semi-transparent, mostly transparent. Anyway, here's my <laughs> caulking gun. I'm just gonna squirt some into a cup and I think I'm gonna go for like a pastel rainbow color. Mm. Or maybe like three pastel colors, like blue, pink, and purple, right? That's like classic. Um, and anyway, I'm gonna fill the cup up and it's gonna look really cute. I also found this embarrassment. It's so sunny over here, you can't even see anything. But um, yeah, I don't talk about this one. Oh, there we go. If I had to eyeball it, I think I have like 60 mils in here. Maybe a little bit more. Anyway, I'm just gonna set this aside. Right. Now, if you thought working with resin was bad, <laughs> silicone uh, is even worse because you have to hurry up. You only have like, uh, I'd say you have even less than 20 minutes working time before it starts to, can you see that? Yeah, before it starts to set. So it's like, <laughs> you gotta hurry. All right, I'm putting a very generous amount of glitter in here. I'm also, I found some really cute little hearts. These were originally from Michael's. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put them actually into the mix. Oh, that looks cute already. Okay, there's this little piece of junk that got in there. I'll take that out. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be hyper in this video from now on because I'm like <laughs> hurrying. Let's see. I'll put in some white stars. Okay, Toby, ouch. Oh, I cut myself with the glitter. Ooh. All right, I'm putting in some white stars. Let's see. Oh, of course. I'm putting in this LA Colors White Mica. It's my dog in here. Um, I actually got this at Dollar Tree. So, it's a good, whoops. It's a good resource if you're looking for cheap micas. And, oh, I almost forgot my dollop. Of white alcohol ink. One, two. Two drops at most. Ooh. And I'm gonna mix. Oh, it is so sunny today. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Um, it's February. I live in Portland, Oregon. So winter is usually pretty dreary. Um, but today, today is really nice. Cool. Yeah, it looks kind of cool, kind of funky. All right, what else? I'm gonna go ahead and start with pink. I'm gonna do a light pink. Um, and I'm just gonna use, you'll see, the same color. I'm just gonna add colors to it and just keep building onto it. So I think it's pretty much just gonna be pink and like two shades of purple. Anyway, ooh, that's pretty. Alright. It's a very nice light. Oh, I love it. Glittery pink. I'm sure you can see it here. It is so sunny, I can't even see what I'm doing. Oh, there you go. Alright. I have a little container here filled with a plastic bag, a piping bag, and I'm gonna put in about a third of the mixture. Uh, I'm gonna put that in the bottom. 
And it doesn't have to be perfectly layered. I think the imperfection is what makes it kind of pretty. All right. Oh, there goes the sun. All right, I'm going to add in. Should I just do the purple next? Yeah, let's do the purple and then we'll try to build up to a blue. I'm adding in one drop of purple alcohol ink. I like alcohol inks. Ooh. I like alcohol inks for coloring my silicone because it's alcohol based, so it doesn't really interfere with the curing of the silicone. That is very pretty. All right, again, a third of the mixture. Maybe a little more than a third. Looks very pretty. And for my last color, I'm gonna add in, whoops, gonna add in blue. I'm gonna do one drop of the blue. Again, blue is also very vibrant. Ooh, it's like a periwinkle blue. Can you see that? Gorgeous. That's like the whole video. Can you see that? Anyway, I'll get you a better angle in a second, especially when I'm piping. Beautiful. Okay, it actually took to the color really well. So um, that's a tip. If you're ever going to mix anything, resin, silicone, whatever, and you're adding colors to it and your colors get gradually darker, um, see if you can just do it in one container because it just makes your life a little bit easier. All right, I'm just adding in that blue right on top. Give this a good little scrape. Do you guys watch um, Royalty Soaps on YouTube? I like when she scrapes her container. She's like, scrapey, scrapey. So, I say that too sometimes. All right. All right. Okay, I stopped there because at this point, I'm gonna measure the lid, or excuse me, I should say I'm gonna try to visualize how high up I need to go to fit into the lid. Hmm. Like a half inch more. I feel like that's too high, but we'll see. Right. Give you a different angle here a little bit. Adorable. All right, I have here some big sprinkles. I think I'm going to cut up the pink and white ones a little bit, um, maybe purple, put them on top. I also am going to do a small sprinkling of this really pretty glitter, like shard glitter.
last but not least, I'm going to add some super glue to the edge. Not too much. All the way around so that my lid can stick on really 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 well because it would be really silly if I just tried to let the silicone <laughs> hold it it would be okay for a little while but it'll pop off eventually great that is drying really really fast and I don't know why hold on that was weird I don't know what happened I'm gonna try it again and I'm gonna go even faster Okay. Okay, okay. And the squish. Boom. Boom. Oh crap. Okay, well. Unfortunately, you can see some of those glue, see those white glue stains on the rim, which kind of sucks because it kind of ruined it for me. But it doesn't look too bad. Alright, final step. A little straw going in right at the top. And you know what? No, I'm gonna push it as far down as I can. Yeah. Okay, a couple of things I would do differently right off the bat are see all those bubbles? in the silicone. I would let my silicone sit in the bag, um, you know, sealed up but in the bag for at least a few hours if not a day to see if that, those bubbles would come out. They probably would. It would probably settle quite a bit and that way this would be more clear, more pink. Um, also, I don't know what kind of reaction the, hot, the super glue had to the silicone, but my tip would be to add the glue to the inside of the dome and then whoosh, squish the dome down. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do next time. And the third thing I would redo was, is see that gap right there between the domed lid and the silicone? I would do my swirl on top fatter, um, just because I think that would look better. But all in all, I think not bad for my first try. It is really cute. I might keep this one um, or I'll sell it at like a steep discount because it's kind of ugly. <laughs> All right, for this one, I'm just gonna go wild. I'm just gonna go try stuff. All right, I'm gonna add in, can you see, baby oil. <laughs> and I'm being very careful not to spill any baby oil on the rim. Alright, now what I'm gonna add is. Oh, you know what? Let's make it pink. I'm gonna add some mica. It's gonna look pretty in there. Okay. I'm gonna add some white mica. Silver stars. This 
this shard glitter. Could be very pretty. Mm -hmm. I like it. And there goes the star. What else? What else? What else? Huh. Why not? A couple of moons. Not too many. And yeah, a couple of white stars as well. These are always stuck together. Oh, the sun came back out. Good. All over the park. Okay. Alright. Oh, Alright. I need to take one control. And I'm going to gently, very gently, try to dissolve any chunks of mica. The mica is going to sink to the bottom anyway. So I'm not very concerned about mixing it so much as destroying any big clumps. Okay, I found some check glass beads. Aren't these pretty? Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna drop a couple into here because I think that that different the weight variety of the inclusions, I think that's gonna look really cute in there. Should I do three or four? Let's do three. All right. You look adorable. Okay. Now here comes the difficult part. <sighs> I wanna do, what do I wanna do? Let's do the glue first, the super glue first. I'm gonna do a rim of super glue. All right, I'm gonna add it to the lid first. Do a little rim of super glue. Whoops. And then once that sets a little bit, I'm gonna fill any cracks between the lid and the cup with UV resin just as an added layer of security is the last thing you want especially if you're selling these is oh dang it there you go it's for that lid to pop off boom make sure my hands are Mostly glue free. All right. I'm gonna twist it a little to make sure that glue gets spread around. And I'm just gonna put pressure on it for like a minute or two. All right, moment of truth, I guess. Ooh. Nothing's leaking. Hmm. And, uh... It looks... Good. I'm, like, hesitant to say it, but I'm like, it looks okay. Whoa. Dog's outside. The, um... The glitters look very pretty. Hmm. I think it looks all right. The very last thing left to do is to add a little straw, some glue. And I think we'll be set. I'll definitely have to test this out and see how how long it lasts without leaking, without breaking, etc. That's pretty much it. Um, because it makes me a little nervous to make shaker items just because of the nature of them. You know, they could leak. I bought a phone case one time that had that waterfall thing on the back. It had like hearts and glitter and water. 
a water case and it broke like so and it spilled everywhere and I was at like a public place it was really funny actually but anyway so I worry about like my products doing that um, but this one is really cute can you see it any better there you go <laughs> No, you can't really see it, can you? What if I get close to it? Ooh, the camera doesn't know where to go. Okay, well, it's fine. This one's pretty cute. Um, I would do uh, what I said earlier. I would let the silicone sit, make sure those bubbles come out, and then this will come out a lot more clear, the silicone. Um, and I might even do like an actual whitish whipped cream on top. I think that could look really cute. Well, anyway, I have a ton more to go. I have like 30 pieces. I'll make sure I link um, this Etsy seller in the description box so if you want to get these little cups you can um because she's in the u.s it's a lot faster to ship out anyway that's it if you like that thanks for watching if you have any suggestions i will happily take them you can leave them in the comments have a good day bye i mean this is just i mean embarrassing what was i thinking